Hey guys, welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Luke here, and today I've got this Android tablet. It's from Chewy. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I've had a few other tablets in the past and they're really nice. This is the Hi8 SE, it's one of the budget one. It only retails for £99, guys, so that is a bang for your buck. But yeah, guys, I've picked mine from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description as always, guys. But yeah, let's begin with the video. So, this is the packaging itself, so it's in this nice brown box. We've got the logo there, Chewy, and this side we've got some detail. So, so it's the Hi8 SE version. It's the 8-inch IPS Full HD screen, just above Full HD, but it's preloaded with Android Oreo, so that is really great. You've got MediaTek process and everything. You go with the specs later. But yeah, guys, let's open this up. So let's see which way it opens this way. So inside we've got this little accessory box. Let's see what we get included. So we've got a UK adapter, we've got a cable and a, another brick. So we've got the charging plug here and it's a EU plug so that's a bit sad but it's a standard 5 watts so no fast charging anything like that. Put that to the side. Let's look at so, so we've got a micro USB, so no USB-C or anything like that, it's just a standard cable. I'm not going to complain, this is a £100 tablet, so that's decent for me. And we've got this booklet here, let's have a look what we got inside. So we've got, first of all, a warranty card, a little chewy, little one, a report card or some sort of stuff so much stuff and just another user guide less manual and no one's gonna bother with that so I'm not gonna do that as well so let's put that to the side and get the top it out okay, that is packed nicely it's packed in this form so it's not gonna get damaged in transport or anything like that but yeah let's get out the tablet itself so as you can see it is a very compact tablet Got this plastic, but it looks like aluminium, but it's plastic, which is nice. So we've got the name there, Chewy Hi8 SE Motion. We've got some more details down here. We've got the camera there, and we've got your memory card slot as well as your charging and your aux port with aux cable, aux port, which is really nice to see on the budget end. We've got your power, your volume rockers. Looks like a microphone there, nothing else on the bottom. On the bottom we've just got a speaker grill. But yeah, it's applied with a screen protector which is always nice and it says it's IPS 8 inch 920 by 1200 which is really great. So just above 1080 which is really nice and it's got a MediaTek processor. As you can see it's clocked at 1.3 gigahertz which is nice. It's a quad core processor so that's always good. And it's a 64 bit system. But yeah, as you can see, that looks really nice. The screen protector is not applied properly, but that does not matter. We've got a we've got a front-facing camera and I think an ambient light, some sort of let's power this tablet on now. So that's powering on, so that's great. So it's powering on, so I'm just gonna go over the specs again. So it's powered by Android. 8.1 Oreo, it's got a quad core processor which is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. It's a 920 by 1200, so it's just above HD, which is really good. And it's a IPS display, so it's going to be nice and vivid. We've got 2 gigs of RAM as well as 32 gigabits of storage, and it's a Wi Fi model, no 4G, anything like that. But on this budget you really can ask for a lot so it's already powered on as you can see so I'm gonna select oh, it's only giving me USA <laughs> let's just go down to English and it should give me other options we've got UK so I hit start and we've got some connections to so this this one on the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz which is really nice I've seen other Budget and tablet does not work on the 5 gigahertz, but this one does. As you can see, I've got my home 5 gigahertz showing up as well as my list tech, which is nice. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm quickly going to set it up, download the apps, and get back to you guys in a bit. 
So yeah guys, I've set everything up now, the device is all set up, I've signed in, I've logged into my Gmail and everything, and everything is up and running. And so far, it's it's not super smooth, it's a bit slow, but it is a 100 pound tablet and it's only got quad quad processors, so we got nothing much like snappy or anything like that, but it works fine. So as you can see, it's a stock version of Android Aura. So swipe up, you've got the standard Google Home app. That's nothing preloaded or anything like no bloatware, anything like that, which is really great. I'm very happy with that. You've got just the Google Apps, nothing much. So if you slide up, you've got your Google Now, so that works. So I can tap on the mic and say, okay, what's the weather today? You can see guys it was a bit of slowing up the page but it is a quad quad processor so it's a bit slow there but it does do it it's not too slow like back in the days or on some other budget and android tablets this is usable it's decent and we've got the youtube app here so let's load that up give that a second and that's loading up very well so if i just pick one of my videos so go to my channel as you can see it's doing a decent job of loading here it's not too slow or anything fast, but it's just a decent job. So let's play one of my videos here. And let's, uh, let's see if I can skip that. But it's not giving me the option to skip. Oh yeah, it's doing that. So let's just wait for that to load. So you can see how quick videos are loading. And that's loading. So let's turn off the mic volume. And uh, the volume is only playing from the button here. So no stereo sound or anything like that. And if we click on the settings and go to quality settings, we are getting 1080, which is really great. On the other hand, Android tablet I've used, you don't get that option. You just leave it at 720, but this has got 1080, which is really great. The quality is, it's decent. The screen is nice and bright. You can see the colors are nice and vibrant. It's a decent screen. I don't want to say like it's super amazing, anything like that. But for this price, it's amazing. That's what I can say. Yes, I would say it's a bit slow. For what I'm using now, trying to go through stuff, it's on the slow side. I'm not gonna complain, but it is a budget, and for that budget, this is what you're paying. You're getting what you're paying for. That's what I would say. But as you can see, everything is nice and smooth. It's not too laggy or anything like that. I'm gonna try some games, install that before I give you a full review and do the speed test and everything. But as of now, it's preloaded with nothing, just the standard Google running Android so let's go to the settings so I can confirm that so let's go to settings and let's click on system and about tablet so it is running Android 8.1 Oreo so that's good it's got August update so that's good as you got the model number there as well so that's good nothing much there but yeah guys this is just my quick unboxing and first look on the Chuvi Hi8 SE tablet. This is a £99 tablet. It's under the budget one, but as of now, I've got no issues. But I'm gonna have a full review. Probably spend a week, two weeks on this, try other stuff, some gaming, some web using, and everything else, and just give you the full opinion of it. But as of now, I have no issues. Yes, it's slow, but on this price, I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna have a full review up very soon, so make sure you stick around. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching the video, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.